Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fun Fitness Tips with Lucas. Another episode. I think this is my first one. This is our first episode. This is of Fun a, Another tips. first. All we right. never get to be on the podcast together, so it's we're true. taking advantage of this today. It's true. And we're here to pump you up. There you go. In your shin. And I'm not joking. In your shin. No, this so is actually shin. So I do want to talk about a quick and often neglected muscle, the tibialis anterior. So I'm going to show a little leg here. Oh, so oof. if you have your shin Ladies, bone, your shin it. bone, you can find the muscle on the outside part of the shin. It's here. What is it responsible for? It brings the foot up. It's called dorsiflexion. So the foot comes up. The reason I am interested in this muscle for a lot of people is balance primarily and support for the knee. So you should, in theory, be able to squat to the floor with your feet flat. Can you do that? And I hope I can. I bet you he can. I'm in Nobles. I don't know if you see these shoes. Yeah, They're those are awesome. pretty. Thank you. You can see them better <laughs> if you're closer to them by squatting. Okay. I think you can How do it. That? That's great. Now. Oh, okay, I feel it. I feel it. You can interior. feel them engaging. If you can't do this yeah. first, to be able to do these, this. Uh, these scrubs are really tight. I thought, oh, well, we got to be careful. <laughs> Uh, let's get back up before something bad happens. So, I split them if, a you, bit. if you can't squat flat-footed, um, that could mean... I did feel that. You feel it a lot in your shin. But if you can't do that, most people, what you see is when they start to go down, they reach a certain point and the toes come up, and then they, they don't feel like they can go any further. So the reason for that could be you have weak anterior tibialis, um, or also you have tight um, gastroc or soleus, which is the back of your, back of your shin. Um, your calves, your calf muscles. So I would suggest everybody, at least three times a week, work on strengthening the tibialis anterior. It also provides some support to the patella. It helps relieve the patella. patellar pain in the knee, patella pain. outer yeah. knee pain. Yeah. So how do you do that? Without equipment, it's fairly easy. You just need a wall. Well, we have a green screen, so I'm going to be don't have the wall. So Lucas is a wall. Okay? I'm going to be a wall. He's only muscle. We haven't he tried this on camera. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> no. So, Annie, put your back against I'll mine. Put my back. Okay, so this is a wall. Yeah. And what you're going to do is walk your feet out a little bit. So you're sort of leaning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Over the floor, slippery. Now go up on your heels. Raise okay. those toes. You see, okay, he's yeah. got his legs straight, his knees locked. He's raised his toes. Mm -hmm. And now flatten your feet slowly and keep doing that up yep. and down. Yep. Um, you can also do this with one of your best friends too. You can, you can. do this. With use one someone. Of your best just use use a person. Use a wall. And now, the further out your feet go, the yep. harder the exercise becomes because more of your body weight is now pressed against. I feel like I'm going to slip on this green. Screen. I know. Yeah. Yep. So that That's is yeah. how you do it. It's better with a wall, to be honest, and not fabric on the floor that slips. Yeah. Um, but if you do that three sets a week, I would do. 20 to 25 repetitions. Now that's going to be very hard at first. So you you don't want to be slanted too far from the wall, right? The further you are, this is the floor, the further your feet go from the wall, the harder that exercise becomes. But if you mix that into your exercise routine, you should start seeing some improved balance. And eventually you might be able to squat all the way to the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, which we're is, on the floor. Yeah. And I feel it. I feel yeah, this is a functional them. move. This yep. is a functional move. So when you're getting older, you need to be able to get off the floor without using your hands. That is yep. a skill you want to develop. This helps you towards that goal. Tip of the day. Stay squatted. <laughs> Don't go away.